Welcome to the Autophy Arena. You were told that on um, Wednesday we are going to have a discussion about the brain and how to learn. And I think we have our guest in the studio, Dr. Raymond Uso Ansara. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Before we start, I would like to introduce my sponsors. I, I, I always say this. We have some people who have made it possible or who have seen to it that this program will always come to life to you. And we have on board Alvis Techi Enterprise. Alvis Techi Enterprise. He's a mobile agent and if you want to withdraw any amount, if you want to send any amount from Gumasu to Tamale, from where, like wherever you are in Ghana, contact Alvis at 0245-988-494 and Mr. Tayam will use it. Building materials. Any building materials you need, you can see Mr. Tayam for the building materials. And we also have um, Vena Mineral Water. I say thank you very much for your support since day one. So before we start, Doctor, please, I want us to tell you, uh, I want you to tell us something about the book. I learned you are, you are here to launch a new book. So I want you to tell us something about the book. Oh, all right, okay. I thank God for such a day like this. I've written a new book and then the name of the book is Come Up High. Come Up High. Okay. This book is to help the society. That's the title. Yes. Come, Come Up, up Higher. Yes. Okay. The book is to help the society not to make profit. I don't have the intention of making profit, but to help the society. That is Come Up High. So very soon it will be launched and then it will go in for yours. You will give something to your and then you take one as well. Oh, wow. So, that I said, it will be launched very, very soon. So please get ready. And he said, uh, he, I think he made a statement that he is not in for money. He's in to us, in part of the society positively. So please get ready for it. And I think we should go straight to the topic on board, Doctor. I think um, the title or the uh, the headline for today's show is the brain and how to learn. That's what my viewers know, or that's what my subscribers know. And I think I want us to. I want you to tell me something about the brain. Okay. Before I want you to start something about the brain. The brain, the brain itself. Yeah. Right. Before I start with the brain, I want to give out three quotes. Uh, you find this quote at the front cover of my book. These okay. three quotes. You can put it down. And the first one is: You can do anything anyone can do. Only you can do it better. You can do anything anyone can do. Only you can do it better. And then the second one is, you are strong as you believe you are. You. You are strong as you believe you are. Yeah, okay, yeah. And the third one is, the brain, when stretched by an idea, can never return to its original shape. The brain, this human brain, when stretched by an idea, can never return to its original shape. As I move on, maybe you, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so let me start with the brain. When you talk about the brain, the brain is a complex structure found in the human body that controls feeling, thoughts. The brain, yes, it controls okay. feelings, thoughts, emotions, and then your ability to feel pain, to see, and then the rest, to feel hungry. All these are being controlled by the body, uh, the okay. brain. By the brain, yes. Okay. So the, I think the, I can say that the brain is the engine of the body. The brain is the engine. Is the engine. Oh, I, mean, the I, I, I what about the heart? I thought the heart is the engine. Yeah. The brain is the engine. The brain is the engine. Okay. Yes. The brain is the I hope it's found here. Because one. Oh, nah. <laughs> I think it's found here, it's doctor. It's up there. It's, it's up there. there. It's not here. It's, it's here, brother. Yeah. It, it, it filled this place. It filled this place. Yes. Okay. Wow. 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 So, if you are saying the brain is the engine of the body, then there is a call for us to what, keep this brain healthy and then strong and active. So, if you ask me about the brain, that is what I will tell you about the brain. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Then, okay, doctor, I want you to tell me the facts about the brain. What are some of the facts about the brain? Okay, the facts about the brain. One, the brain, this brain contains 60% of facts. 60% facts. of facts. F-A-T-S. Yes. Wow. 60% of facts. And then again, the brain is not fully formed. Until at age 25, the brain, this brain is not fully formed until at, at the age of 25, that the brain will be fully formed. Oh, let me say a minimum of uh, 21 because of the oh, okay. So that is why we have been saying somebody who is not 
uh, above the age 20 or let's say 25, is not mature enough to think for him or herself. Okay. That is how the brain grows. The brain grows from the back here. That is the occipital leaf. The back? Yes. The, the sight used for seeing, for sight. Okay. And it grows from that place. Occipital leaf. And then it works its way out to the frontal leaf. Here, we use here for thinking and then for reading. So that is why I'm saying that until at age 25, or let's say a minimum of 20, you are not matured enough to think for yourself. Okay. Because at that time, the frontal loop have not been formed. So until at age 25, that, age is, 25. Yes, that is where the frontal loop is formed. And then you can, you can say that you can think, you can reason for yourself. So, and then the brain is always active. The brain is always active. Meaning it doesn't sleep. No, no, no. Even when you are asleep, it is active. It's still working. It is still working. Hey, the, the, brain, the brain is always active. The okay. brain is always active. So if I'm asleep, the brain is still working. The brain is still working. Oh wow, wow. And then again, the brain storage capacity is unlimited. Okay, it's unlimited. It's not like memory card that uh, you have two gig, three gig, no, no, no. It is unlimited. Okay. You can store a lot of things in. And then you can train your brain. This brain, you can train it. If you don't train it, I bet you, you, you will regret for the rest of your life. Really? You have to train your brain. Oh, wow. So you can train your brain. Then the last one that I would say is the brain needs constant supply of oxygen. The brain needs constant supply of what? Oxygen. Any constant supply of oxygen. Then the last one, let me say this, then we, we move on. The brain affects the whole part of the body. What you use your brain for affects the whole part of the body. You can be sick, but the brain cannot be sick. But when the brain is sick, it affects the whole part of the body. Uh-uh. Yeah, that is it. Hey, yes. yeah, hey it's not easy. Serious. Okay, please. We are going to a short commercial, we will be right back. Welcome back. So we are going to listen to our viewers who are watching us to bring in their, uh, their contribution or their views on the topic, the brain and how to learn. So please, we have our first um, viewer who, who, who is on the line, it's called Ross Anderson. So we always matter, I would like to... So hello, Ross. Hello. Hello, Ross. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ross. Hello. Good evening. I think I can hear you all. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm also doing good. I'm pleased. You are welcome to your. You are welcome to your topic arena. Okay. Okay. Um, we call to listen to your contribution on the topic, the brain and how to learn. Could you, um, I don't really hear uh, Okay, I said we call to ask you about your contribution on the topic, the brain and how to learn. Okay, okay. So, um, I, I personally, uh, I don't have so much problems with, uh, uh, how people need to learn. The brain is, um, I think, I think, I believe the brain is set up on its own. So, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Okay. I believe the brain is set up on its own in different people to function different in different ways. Okay. So there are so many different ways uh, people use uh, or the brain functions when it comes to different sets of people. Okay. So uh, in some people they, they need to they need a lot of time to study. In some people, they need very short period. In some people, they don't even study at all. But when they hear it, so I just do that in two people, in two sets, which is uh, people with long term study plan and then people with short term study plan. And then with, uh, that's how I, I say I, I compare how brain or certain people with certain brain function when it comes to study. Oh, wow. So, wow. I mean, that's the little I can say about how the brain. Oh wow. wow! I see. Thank you very much, Brother Ross. 
Okay, okay. You're welcome. Okay, see you another day. Thank you for your time. Bye bye. All right, all right. So, Doctor, I think you heard um, from our brother, that's um, Ross, what um, he said. He said they're doing some cartwright in different ways. We have a I think he said the doing is different. He alone said a short term. That has been there. He said. So what, what do you have to say about what he said? Oh, what he said was very, very good. But me, under my research, I just saw three. For him, he saw two. Only two people. I saw three. There are some people in class, and we teach them, they need to go home and then learn again. Go over again. Half time, go over. Before mm-hmm. they get the idea, they get the memory. Okay, yeah. doctor. I think we, um, we have one color. Is that Fidos? So, hello, Fidos. Hello. Hello, please, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm also doing good. Please, welcome to your talking arena. Please, I can't hear you. Welcome to your talking arena. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, please, um, because this is your contribution on the topic, the brain and the house name. We want, to, we want to hear your view on the topic. Please, I think that you can come again. Okay, I said we call to uh, we call to hear your view on the topic, the brain and how to learn. We want you to share what you have with us. Okay. They can just flip through uh, some books. 
then they'll be able to tell you exact page where you can find a term, a key term, or let's say a table. They will tell you this page. How do they learn? Now they learn with their eyes. They capture things on their eyes. Okay. So in times when the brain is tired, let's say when you ask them question, they are not able to produce the answers. They can just retrieve that information from their eyes. Okay. For me, me for instance, at times when I'm struggling with a question. I can just look at your face like this, then the image will project right on your face. Wow. Then I will just be copying the answers on the on the my sheets. But this this is very important. How you brief is very important when you're learning. How you brief. How you brief. Okay. Now my I did a research for about some five months ago. And I saw that somebody who is involved in a physical activity. Or somebody, let's say, is run, a person is running, running, yes, jumping, and then the person immediately sits down and tries to learn. I bet you, whatever that you learn within the 15 to 20 minutes, yes. it will be a waste. Okay. Then I can also say that that is why most people sleep when they take books. <laughs> most people they sleep, they say I'll, I'll be feeling sleepy when I take my book to read. No, there is some fluid substance in the ear. That is why when a person turns around, the person feels dizzy. When you start to turn, that fluid in the semicircular canals, they also try to move. Okay, in your ear. Yes, they move fluid okay. in your ear. So when they move, when you start, when you stop moving, it will still be moving. It's like you stirring the water. When you stop, it, the water will still move. So when you stop moving, the it will be sending false information to the brain, trying to tell the brain you are still moving, you are still moving. Meanwhile, you are not moving. Then uh, it will reduce <laughs> the brain. Yes. Oh wow. It sends information to the brain. But meanwhile, you are not moving. You are still moving. But it will send this signal to the brain. Oh, okay. And we call it false information. It is according to Newton's first law. It said that a body in motion will continue to be in motion. Or if it, it is at rest, it will continue to be at rest unless an external force acts on it. Oh wow. So when you stop moving, the brain, the fluid will still be moving okay so let's say you are running then you sit down it, the brain it will send information to the brain that you are still moving so when you sit down let's say after physical activity you sit down you relax you take in three deep breaths taking first one second one then the third one okay you relax then the brain will settle then you are good to go oh wow you are good to go that one will be it will help you because, and I think at times you should at least give yourself 15 to 20 minutes. You re relax for 15 to 20 minutes before you start to learn. And then the rest. How even when you are learning, how you tap your hand like this, even affect the brain. How, how maybe you are learning. Uh, learning. Many, many, many. If you are learning, yes. you, like, you should go to sit quietly. Yes, that is why the, the appropriate place for you to learn is a library. <laughs> that library. is why, yes, a library. Okay. That is a cool place because when I'm right now, if I'm learning, then I'll be chatting, I'll be talking, it will be affecting me. Okay. Yeah. If you're mouth, you, you need to just control. Yes, control it. And then, okay. once again, if you tap your hand like this, part of the brain will be sending okay, there will be some information from your hand to your brain because right now, I need something. I need something. Yes, <laughs> if, if let's say there's a pin here, then your hand. You, you just you basically touch it. Yes, you touch the the, the pin. There will be some information. Within some not more than a second. Okay, information from here. So when you are tapping a hand like this, part of the brain will be here. Part of the brain will be here. So the facilitators they used to call it divided attention. It will not, not help you. So wow, wow, wow. All wow. the parts of the human being is involved in there. So please, um, before we go. I want Dr. Ray to wrap up for us uh, about the brain and how to learn. Okay, sure. maybe someone just tune in. I want you to wrap up everything. What is somebody everything about us? Okay, so I'm saying that the part of the brain responsible for learning is the hippocampus. They are found at this place, at the underside of the te uh, temporal loop. They are found at this place here and then here. Okay. The human brain, this controls the speech. Yes, the left controls the speech and then the right. Then I'm saying that learning involves or goes far more than what thinking. In, in learning, we will go far more than thinking. And then all the parts of the body is involved in learning. The eye, the nose, the ears, 
not only the brain, they work together with the brain. Most of the parts. Yes, most of the parts of the body works together with the brain to produce a meaningful learning. learning. Oh wow. Even the food that you eat affects the brain. So maybe I don't know if the food, food. the food. Some of the food. Hey, Charlie, hey, I, like, I, I'm even touched. I never knew the brain constitutes a lot like this. And even you, doctor, thank you very much. Yeah. So please, yeah. as I always tell you, if you want to know, or if you want your friends or loved ones or family or your relative to get in touch or to, to know what exactly is going on at the autophic arena, please and please like, subscribe, and share the link for others to know what actually is going on at the autophic arena. Please, Dr. Ray. And your last word to your viewers and your loved ones watching you. Okay, if I had the time, I would explain to you how the human brain forgets things. Some people will tell you when we learn, we forget. But saying there is no time, let me go straight forward to some of the food that we eat before I wrap, wrap up. Food like oil food. If you are a student, a learner, please do not eat much of what oil, fat, because they block the veins that send this information or signal to the brain. And then food containing cholesterol, food containing much sugar, you should eat them and then the rest. Before I wrap up, I want to tell everybody, the brain is magic. Wow. <laughs> the brain is a magic. Now, doctors cut open bodies, they face things in there, but not much of the doctors believe in miracles. But with the brain, you can do everything that anybody can do. Only you can do it better. If you train up your brain, as of now, you'll be able to do a lot of things that people will not believe even if it's you. So you can train your brain right now. And then again, the brain is active, it's strong, it's healthy. Train your brain right now, learn how to learn. The brain likes cheap things, it likes to always be playing. But if you train your brain, I tell you, you'll be one in a million because wow. the brain performs a lot of things. Oh, uh, Dr. Ray. I wish you could get my book and then go through all these. No, they will buy. <laughs> all of you must buy, Charlie. Hey, doctor, thank you very much for your time. We are much grateful. So please, before we go, before we go, I would like to tell you something, please. If you want to know or if you want to get the next content, please and please like, subscribe, share, share the link for others. Okay, for others to get in touch, know what exactly is going on at your office, and please and please. That's the most important thing. So please, before we go, I would like to thank Dr. Ray for your time. <coughs> You have done a lot for us since day one. You came here with the breast cancer, and I think they were really educated. Uh, they, were, they were really educated. But the, uh, the comments on the YouTube platform, like a world of comments, and I think people really enjoyed it. And I think this one too, they are going to enjoy it. They are going to share, they are going to like us, well, trust me. So please, thank you very much for your time. We are much grateful. So please, see you, this, uh, see you next time, the same day. Is it, is it yes, I want to greet my mom and my okay. dad, my, my family, and then my best friend, Stella. Uh, I greet you, my regards to you all for being a blessing to me. Thank you. Okay, so please, he said he greets everyone. It's love, but it seems um, last two weeks, someone asked you a question, are you engaged? Have you really answered that one? No, no, I'm not engaged. You're not engaged. You are single. No, I'm not engaged. Your dad is single though. <laughs> So that's great. Right. Thank you very much for your time. So please, see you the same day, same time, okay? We love you all. Bye-bye.